understand how to verify the perpendicular axis theorem and measure the moment of emission. This, as you can see, is a rectangular diagram having different planes A, B, and C. This is your AB plane, this is your BC plane, and this is your CA plane. But all these planes, if this distance matches with the distance here, we call it as pattern. If you connect this here into the middle screws, or these two to the last extreme screws, it will be anti -pattern. So now, what precaution you must take is that this should not have any twist. And when you turn this, this is a rectangular band, lamina undergoing rotating motion. This is a rigid body undergoing rotating motion. So when you turn this, it will undergo oscillations. And when by doing this, it should not get entangled like this. This is the first precaution that you must take. And you must give a very small amplitude. Don't turn like this and it will be wobbling. And this is not a proper oscillation or a rotation. So you must hold it firmly. Oscillate it to a small amplitude and play. Even this is not correct because you can see there is a jerky motion. So you must allow it to go like this. This is the oscillation and this is your mean position or the equilibrium position. From here, you turn to one side and leave it. So mean position, extreme, mean to the other extreme and come back. This is considered to be as one oscillation. Then when you see that it is stable, you have it to oscillate, start the stopwatch. Find the time taken to complete 20 oscillations. After 20 oscillations are there, repeat this experiment for another trial. So for every experiment, you have to take a minimum of two trials. Find the time T1 and time T2. Find the average time and measure the time period. The time period will be measured by dividing the total time with 20 oscillations. And measure the distance here as 2D1 this distance has 2d2. The point of suspension to the point here is your H. Make sure that this H is the same on either side so that it will be stable. Then using the formula, you have to show the formula, you have to measure the moment of inertia using the formula and repeat this experiment for the other two plates. This is one plate which is considered as flat. flat. Then you tie it here. This is your BC plane or vertical plane. Then this will be your horizontal plane. So you have to repeat three times and for each parallel antiparty. So each this plane parallel. Connect it here, it becomes antipad. For the same way, this becomes antipad. So for every plane, antiparallel, parallel. Parallel, antipad. Six times you must do and verify it using your theoretical formula. What is the theoretical formula for calculating the theoretical values? What you need is, take out this block, use a spring balance, find its mass, find its length A, breadth B and this is your height, A, B and C. Theoretically, the moment of inertia of this rectangular plane will be M by 12 into A square plus B square for this plane, B square plus C square for the second plane, C square by A square for the third plane. You have to verify using your formula. The second part of the experiment is to calculate, to verify perpendicular axis theorem. What is the perpendicular axis theorem for a rectangular lamina? Moment of inertia about any plane, let us say AB plane, is equal to sum of the moments of inertia about BC and C. So IAB is equal to IBC plus IC. Similarly, IBC will be sum of IAB plus IAC. So IAC will be IAB plus IBC. You can verify this uh, perpendicular axis theorem for any of these plates. So this 
particular experiment has two objectives. One is to verify moment of inertia calculated using the theoretical formula that is m by 12 into a square plus b square with the experimental one. And the second part of the experiment is to verify the perpendicular axis thing. Now, let us see the formula for this. So the moment of inertia is calculated using the formula I is equal to mg d1 d2 t square by 4 pi square h and the unit for moment of inertia is gram centimeter square. It is mass into r square. So mass is given in grams and length is given in centimeter. Since it is mr square, cm square is the unit and i is moment of inertia. m is mass of the regular body which can be measured using a spring balance. g acceleration due to gravity. Since you are using CGS system, you must take it as 980. And T is the time period of oscillation. D1, D2 are the distances. T is the time period, H the height. Now, the tabular column is to determine the time period of oscillation. You have three different positions, flat position, horizontal and vertical, A, B plane, B, C plane and a C, A plane. As I told you already, you have to do this experiment for each of these planes two times, parallel, anti-parallel, parallel, anti-parallel anti like this. Measure the height, 2D1, the distance between the two screws on the top, 2D2, the distance between the two screws on down. Repeat this experiment for two times. In the first case, it has T1, this is T2. The average time divided by 20 will give you the time period. Take the square, calculate the moment of inertia using this formula. This moment of inertia is calculated using I is equal to this formula. This is from the experiment and using this formula here, moment of inertia is calculated using the formula I is equal to A square plus B square. This formula for AC plane, AB plane and CA plane and these are to be verified using your theoretical values.